Hello there, it's me, Rama, and this is my video guide on how to use nav modifiers in UE4. Let's start with what's already in the level. I've created a nav mesh volume, and I have two characters. One character can't go through lightning. The other one can. See, that guy does the... red guy doesn't like it. The blue guy's like, sure, whatever. So, I have two different units who behave differently. In this case, I can't just put an invisible barrier in front of the lightning because the blue guy can go right through it. And let's say that the goal is to get to the player. You wouldn't want the blue guy to go all the way around when he can. Or maybe in some, you know, it could be a long walk. In this case, it's not too long to go around, but it could be. So I want to create a custom behavior for the red guy to tell him to path around the lightning without interfering with the blue guy's ability to do so, all using standard UE4 navigation system without any custom modifications. However, there is one modification I had to make. I had to expose in my victory plugin, this is my victory plugin, I've uploaded a recent version, and in that version you can actually use a blueprint node that I created called uh, move to with filter. This is AI move to with filter, right, right here. This allows me to use a filter class with the regular move to functionality. Without this blueprint node, I couldn't do this demonstration that I'm showing you. But let's get on to how to actually make this system. So once again, we've established that we need custom behavior for the red fellow so he doesn't get electrocuted by the lightning. So he can actually get through to the goal, because the goal is this red thing. Once you get to the red thing, you're done. All right. So let's set it up. It's really not that hard. Step number one is we have to make an area filter. So new blueprint class, area filter, nav area, right? Nav area, not area filter. <laughs> so we're going to make a custom nav area, and this is going to be called electric area. All right? Let's open it up, and let's go to our defaults. We're going to turn it blue, indicative of its uh, electric nature, sort of a uh, like right about there. And now you can change the default cost to make some to make AI prefer some certain areas. So you could change that value here. However, we're not really worried about preference right now. We're worried about absolutes. We do not want the red guy to go through the blue area at all. <laughs> So let's make another new blueprint class, which is going to be our filter. Type in filter, and this is going to be called filter avoid electric. All right, so you open that up, go to defaults. We're going to add this area, which we just created, the electric area, and we want to tell this filter to exclude or ignore the electric area. All right, that's it. Now, the final step is we have to go under modes, volumes, type in modifier, right? And we have to put this modifier in. Now by default, it's going to actually exclude. It's like just going to block out the nav area or the navigation mesh. However, if we put in our filter, it will use our custom behavior. So electric area. Now it just turns blue which really doesn't have any meaning just yet. It's, it means something to us for our game-specific needs. It doesn't mean anything uh, else at the moment. It's just blue. That's it. <laughs> so now we've put that blue blockade there, right? A little hard to see with the blue. So we have that blue there. Now we're going to make the other blue because there's two of them. Actually, I wanted to show what would happen if we didn't do that first, so I'm just going to move this off to the side, stick that over there. All right, so we, we, we want to tell the red guy to not cross the blue. Okay, last step. So again, step number one, create the area class. Step number two, make the nav modifier volume, use your custom area class. Step number three, create the filter, and at this point it depends on what you're trying to do, but in this case we want to have a specific filter ignore blue areas. Final step is to use my custom blueprint node which comes with my plugin which you can use in a blueprint or C++ class. It's 
free. I'm not trying to make money here. It's a complimentary plugin, and you can use it right now if you get it from my Victory plugin thread. The final step is to tell the AI to use that filter. Now one of these guys is the red guy and one of these guys is the blue guy. So here we have the blue fellow. He doesn't need a filter because blue guy is allowed to go through lightning. Red guy needs the filter because red doesn't do so well when it goes across, it crosses the lightning. So we select our filter class. Filter avoid electric, right? We now have created our filter and again this is my AI move to with filter which is why you see this filter class here. I've given it very good commenting which explains everything I'm talking about in this video including what a filter class is and also what projected destination to navigation is which is really handy if your point is above navigation you can project down or above to get it to find the navigation but anyway just add the filter class that's all I did right so now let's see what the change in behavior is so I create them both and notice the red guy goes around this time. However, it still doesn't work out too well for him because, well, there's still lightning there too. So we have to, but notice he's no longer going straight anymore. Blue guy's still going straight because blue guy is immune to lightning. So now let's, let's help red guy out a little bit more. So all right, red guy, you really need to avoid that lightning. You're getting yourself electrocuted every time. So now we've put this additional blockade here. So now we've effectively told red guy where he's allowed to go. Now, let's go in game and see what happens this time. Look at red guy go! He's gonna live! He made it! <laughs> now again, this is an explanation of navigation filters. It's a filter because we have two different types of units. One unit is immune to lightning, so he doesn't need to filter out lightning areas. The red guy needs the filter to avoid getting himself electrocuted. This is just one use case for UE4 nav filters. The system is quite powerful and uh, you can do all sorts of things with it, but this is my initial test case. Uh, let your imagination run wild and use this basic setup as an example to help you create your own custom game mechanics. <laughs> Enjoy!